Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given system of equations by graphing technique. In order to get a full understanding of this topic, please watch this video till the very end for extra practice problem. Now let's get started with the graphing. The very first thing we are going to do is I am going to give a different colors to these equations. I'm going to make the top equation blue and the bottom one red. And here are our these new equations. And here is our action plan, our strategy. In order to keep things simple, we are going to graph each of these equations individually. That means we're going to make red and blue graph separately. Finally, we'll put them together. That means we're going to superimpose them. So in our very first step, we are going to look at the very first equation, the top one, 3x minus 2y equal to 6. I just put it down over here. And let's go ahead and solve for x and y. Let me show you an easy way of doing this one. I'm going to put down x and y chart. What I'm going to do is here's going to be our strategy. Put x equal to 0 and solve for y. That means wherever your x is going to be, you just put down 0. If you plug, plug it in this 0, this is going to become 3 times 0 minus 2 times y equal to 6. 3 times 0 is 0 minus 2y equal to 6. So we got negative 2y equal to 6. You divide both sides by negative 2. So y turns out to be negative 3. So that means if x equal to 0, y is going to be negative 3. And in our next step, this time I am going to put y equal to 0 and we are going to find x value. That means wherever you see y, this becomes 0. So let's simplify that one. So we got 3x minus 2 times 0 equal to 6. So 3x 2 times 0 is 0 equal to 6. 3x minus 0 equal to 3x equal to 6 divide both sides by 3 so x turns out to be 2 so that means when x equal to when y equal to 0 x is going to be 2 so thus we got 0 comma negative 3 the other one is 2 comma 0 i'm going to put it down right up here our one of the point is 0 negative 3 the other one is 2 comma 0. And now let's go ahead and plot these two points that we figured out. The first one is 0, uh, 0, negative 3. So where is going to be 0, negative 3 is going to be right up here, isn't it? So this is 0, negative 3. The other one is 2, 0. So 2, 0 is going to be this one right now. As you can see that this one is the point is on x-axis. No wonder we call it x-intercept. And this point is on y-axis. We call it y-intercept. And here I have nicely plotted these points and I give them a name 2, 0 and 0, negative 3. The next thing what we're going to do is to we can construct a straight line by connecting these two points. And here is the graph for our blue equation 3x minus 2y equal to 6. Now let's focus on our red equation, the bottom one, and we want to graph this thing. So once again, the very first step is we are going to create a t-chart. I am going to put down x right up here, y. Same thing we're going to do once again. First, we're going to put x value 0 and figure out y value. So wherever you see x, this becomes 0. So that means, let's simplify. So 0 plus y equals to 
negative 8 0 plus y same as negative 8 so that means y value turns out to be negative 8 that means if x is 0 y is negative 8 now in the next step we are going to plug it in y equal to 0 and see what x value is going to be that means this time y is 0 let's simplify x plus 0 equal to negative 8 so x plus 0 same as x equal to negative 8 so that means y value turns x value turns out to be negative 8 so thus our two points turns out to be a 0 comma negative 8 the other one is negative 8 comma 0 let me put them down over here so the first one is 0 comma negative 8 and the other one is negative 8 comma 0 and in this next step we are going to plot these two points on this Cartesian plane so first one is 0 negative 8 so 0 comma negative 8 is going to be right up here and the other one is negative 8 0 is going to be right up here the point so once again this point is on x-axis we're going to call it x-intercept and this point on y-axis is called y-intercept and here I have nicely plotted these points and give them a name negative 8 0 and this is 0 comma negative 8 the next step is we are going to connect these two points to get our straight line graph and finally here is the graph for x plus y equals to negative 8 which is a straight line and here is our final product and on the left hand side you see these two individual graphs and when i superimpose them i put them together this is the point negative 2 negative 6 this is a point of intersection of these two lines and that is our solution so thus our solution turns out to be a negative 2 comma negative 6 that means x is negative 2 and y is negative 6 and here is your assignment can you do this problem on your own you can take your time you can pause the video luckily i have already uploaded this video as well please go ahead and check it out and see the correct solution thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye